a patient arrives at the emergency department with right hand pain. He admits to punching a wall. He is tender over the distal fifth metacarpal. X-rays are obtained. They demonstrate a fracture of the fifth metacarpal neck. There is an unacceptable degree of volar angulation. The fracture must be reduced or set. Anesthesia can be obtained with a hematoma block. When a bone is broken, it bleeds into the fracture site, forming a mass of blood known as a hematoma. If a local anesthetic, such as lidocaine, is injected into this hematoma, it will effectively numb the fracture site, allowing for a reduction with minimal pain. After cleansing and sterilizing the skin, a needle is introduced into the fracture site. The plunger on the syringe is pulled back gently. A flash of blood indicates that the needle is in the fracture hematoma. A local anesthetic, such as lidocaine, is injected and the needle removed. Once the fracture site is numb, traction can be applied to the small finger and the distal fragment nudged back into alignment. Without proper immobilization, the fracture will usually displace and fall back into volar angulation. The proximal phalanx of the small finger can be used to push the distal fragment of the broken metacarpal back into place. A cast is then applied with the fingers in this position to hold the fragment in alignment. Post-reduction x-rays are obtained to confirm that the fracture is now well aligned.